Goo in the Morning has made a video on anti-natalism. Reference to my video, um, seems a pleasant enough person, but she does make some comments now and then, are pretty hostile. But whatever. So I'm going to play this set, uh, started at the two minute mark or so, three minute, because she, she, she paraphrases the position fairly well, and then she um, goes into her objection, which I'll try to reduce. Created only in consciousness, because I have described in other videos how the human consciousness has the capacity to uh, see the world in a symbolical way, and uh, has language, has made concepts, constructed concepts, abstractions, generalizations, in order to be able to communicate, uh, to make sense of the world. Yeah, well, yeah, that's pretty much how I look at it, but our difference is going to be on whether or not what we're doing is discovering the truth through that process, or if we're just making up a model, okay? So that would be my difference with what you're saying, is, is that my argument is there, that the logic and the truth is out there to be discovered. It exists in reality, just like pi, all right? Pi is just a relationship between diameters and circumferences. We discover the relationship. There's a truth in the universe, relationships. We understand there's this concept of sentience. There's this relationship between pain and pleasure. There's a relationship between how we are shaped and our origins as a single piece of DNA four billion years ago in a process of evolution. So we're describing a truth of a circumstance and part of that truth, in my opinion, is discovering the truth of value and that they're the only thing that we can discern is having real substantive value in the universe is the capacity of a sentient organism to suffer for example a jew in a concentration camp is absolutely not a good thing all right a sentient creature being harmed is absolutely bad okay there can be circumstances where it's good to hurt something because you're going to prevent more harm to something else. But the point is, is that suffering is absolutely bad. And if you can't agree with that, you can't understand that that's the premise of every perception I basically have of the world, then, yeah, there's not going to be any real avenue of communication. Because I'm not going to buy some argument that um, a silly human's perception uh, that they think their dog has pretty fur, that that's more of a reality than the reality that it's a sentient creature and it has a welfare. And that the, the suffering or, or that it might experience has real weight, where some trivial attachment or even, or some statement like, my dog is the greatest dog in the world, or some kind of bullshit like that has absolutely no weight in comparison. Um, how else to put this? Uh, but anyway, I think that's going to be a core of a disagreement, because you're going to say that logic can't go there. And I'm saying logic can go there. Of course it can. If there was a mega, super, gigantic, colossal, ultimate intelligence, it would still understand that sentience was very different than all the other crap happening in the universe. And that it had very different character than any other process taking place in the universe. And that it did give it um, value weight. And it is in fact the only value in the universe. It's the currency. It's the currency of reality. The sentient being's welfare. The elimination, let us say, of pain. That's the currency. I can declare value, and what I'm saying has no value, is reproduction for the sake of reproduction. The agenda of a DNA molecule, okay, has no value, has no meaning. A DNA molecule has no credibility as either a designer or a purpose giver or a meaning imposer. Survival means nothing. The welfare of the organism means everything.